You are one of our first conversations. What do you think the buzz is going to be? What is it going to be that people are talking about there? Is it going to be mission accomplished? Is it going to be higher for longer? Is it going to be those PMI numbers that just came out of Europe? Well, thank you. Thank you for having me in this beautiful scenario. Well, uh, this is just starting, uh, but I can uh, tell you that we are going to be focused, of course, uh, in the numbers for the economy, in the numbers for inflation, um, following up uh, on what uh, has been so far the monetary policy transmission um, that uh, it's already in the numbers. Uh, we have to be uh, cautious uh, mm -hmm. this time around because uh, downside uh, risks that we identified in June in our forecast have materialized. Yes. This is an inversion uh, of what uh, happened throughout the pandemic uh, recovery because usually we have been um, surprised in the upside. Yeah. This is uh, in part, in my opinion, because the transmission of monetary policy is uh, up and running. Uh, we need to take that uh, into account in our Mario? decisions. Mario, that, it's Alex in New yes. York. Uh, so that seems like a pause for September. Would your vote be a pause for September? And if so, is that a peak? Well, you know, we have been um, data dependent in our decisions. Uh, there's plenty of data still uh, to be made available uh, until the September decision. We have a new forecast. That forecast will tell us precisely uh, how we see uh, this transmission uh, of our decisions into inflation and the economy uh, going on. Uh, and we will decide in, in September uh, on that on that regard. But uh, it is important to keep in mind that um, inflation uh, has been falling uh, faster than its way up. Uh, we have been successful uh, in our mission so far. Uh, it's, it's probably uh, too soon uh, to call it uh, as a down deal, uh, but, but we uh, certainly uh, will have to, to focus on these numbers.